Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, for tonight's episode, we have a huge update on what's been going on between the gun negotiations between Democrats and Republicans. Now, as we've been saying this entire time this most recent gun push has been going on, the big focal point is the negotiation between the Republicans and the Democrats in the Senate. That's always been the one. Everything else is right at this point, noise. And the reason that I consider it noise is because you have to focus and direct all of your energy where it's going to be most effective. That's what I try to bring you twice a day on this channel, is give you the most updated information I can and help zero in your focus so we can really be effective. And that's the entire purpose of the two-a-days, so we can really give you that perspective. Now, everything's going to be linked in the description box below, but I'm going to walk you through what Mr. Gun Control in the Senate, Chris Murphy, said today about will not be in these gun control talks. This is a really big deal because you're going to lose the far left on this. And as we get closer and closer and it gets zeroed in and zeroed in even further, you're going to start losing the right, you're going to start losing the left, and you're going to end up with a very, very small focus package, which is what we're going to start talking about right here. If you are new, please, guys, we'd love to have you subscribe. Jump in the fold. We need as many people in the ranks as we can to get this information out as quickly as possible. And that's what we're going to do, and that's why we're going to walk through this right now. Check this out. Chris Murphy, gun reform talks won't, won't include assault weapons ban or comprehensive background checks. Whoa. All you've heard recently is that they're going to take ARs. There's going to be a thousand percent tax on ARs. All of these things are the periphery. This is what we want to focus on right now. I will address all those other things, but I try my best to give you the up-to-date, most current, directed information, right? Senator Chris Murphy, Democrat, Connecticut who is helping lead bipartisan gun reform talks in the Senate, said on Sunday that any potential deal on legislation would not include an assault weapons ban or comprehensive background checks. Now, put that in perspective of what we covered previously, about a week, week and a half ago, when Chuck Schumer first came out, we did a video on this, and he said, uh, we can't go too far left because we have vulnerable senators in purple states and tough battleground states, and we don't want to lose the entire, the entire race. That's a very big tell that they're not going to push that hard. A week and a half later, this is what they're coming out with. I've got more for you. Check this out because all of this ties together. Murphy told CNN on State of the Union co-anchor Jake Tapper that the bipartisan group of senators leading the talks following a recent string of situations, adding that negotiations are focused on mental health funding, school safety measures, and modest but impactful gun control proposals. That's really important that he said modest, what do he say? Modest but impactful? He's setting the left up that it's not going to be as extreme as they want. And on the other part here, mental health funding, that is a right-leaning perspective. School safety measures, also right-leaning perspective. Which, by the way, I'm okay with both of those. But the setup for modest but impactful, that's a big, that's a big hint. Let's keep going. Quote, We're not going to put a piece of legislation on the table that's going to ban assault weapons. Or, we're not going to pass comprehensive background checks, he said. But right now, people in this country want us to make progress. They just don't want the status quo to continue for another 30 years. What do we always say on this channel? It's better to do something than nothing, even though nothing is going to do, or excuse me, even do something. Damn it. It's better to do something than nothing, even though something is going to do nothing, but at least we did something. It's important. All right. Let's keep going. Murphy said the group is also focusing on strengthening background checks and incentivizing states to implement red flag laws, which allow people to partition the court, temporarily confiscate firearms from owners considered risk to themselves or others, and providing funding for states with existing red flag laws. Quote, I think this week we need to have concepts to present to our colleagues, he said. That is incredibly important. That's what we were talking about this morning on this channel. He did not say red flag laws federally. He said funding for red flag laws at a state level. When he's setting up in this conversation and saying modest but impactful, then the next thing that he says is funding across the board for states, they're punting it to the state level. That's important. Focus on mental health, important. School safety, important. Do you see where all of these are going? It's still a fight, but it's narrowing. Now, this is what Pat Toomey said. He's also involved in the same negotiation, but he's a Republican, okay? If that name sounds familiar, the Mansion to Me bill, that whole thing, they don't even want to do that. It's too extreme. Track with me here. Noting concern from some Republicans that gun control legislation could violate Americans' constitutional rights, duh, 
The Pennsylvania Republican said he believes there's a place to land that's consistent with the Second Amendment. Quote, I think encouraging states to have some kind of red flag laws could make sense as long as there's adequate due process. I think there are school safety provisions. There are mental health issues that we could address, Toomey said. So there are things we could do that would be constructive. They are consistent with Republican voters, and I'm hoping we'll get there. Did you hear what he said? Red flag laws on this state level. Funding for those. Mental health issues. Hardening schools. All of these things are going to lose the far left. This is really important and going back to exactly what Schumer said. We can't lose our base. We can't lose these elections by going too far. This is where it's heading. And that's why we've been covering this so hard on this channel. Because we've been waiting for them to really narrow it down. And that's what we get to. When they narrow it down for us like this. And they actually present. And it goes from wide-ranging gun control to here's what we want to do. They start losing the left. They start losing the right. And they end up in a position where if anything happens, it's extremely meager. And that's a big if, because elections are very close. And nobody wants to be screwed on the elections when they're coming up and it's their time to get uh, reelected. And that's incredibly important to understand. Everything else that we're going to talk about, all the fight that's coming forward, we're going to be ready for it. So steal yourselves for that fight. But we're going to put our energy where it has the most effect, and it's going to be right here. And that's why you see me focus on this so hard. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you tomorrow morning on The Bullet Points. I'm Braden. See you later.